Hello everyone and welcome back here to Fading Hearts. I'm here with my wonderful, wonderful friends and Laura and April. Say hello, Laura and April. <laughs> hello, hello, Laura and April. April. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they're amazing me, they keep on coming back. I don't know why, but there you go. <laughs> it's 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 the magic of voicing Rena and Claire. That's what must must be. It must be. So without a <laughs> that Sue, so let's uh, let's let's carry on, shall we? Uh, last time we were spent some time practicing our magic. Ugh. Yeah. So right, what shall I do today? Um, it is Friday, March the thirty first, two thousand and six. <laughs> Way back in yes, thing. Yes, we have lots of puss. A fair chunk of stress, actually. I'm a little bit worried about that. It's getting a bit high. Yeah, we should probably relax. Yeah, let's do something relaxing, shall we? Um, how about we go outside? Okay. If we go outside. That's your banner park, park, park. We just and... said weed. Hmm, it's dark. Perhaps we should. No, we don't want to do any stress, do we? No. Let's sit and read for a little bit, see what happens. Advanced programming. There's one that'll get rid of the stress. <laughs> it's like, oh, this book is so relaxing. Apparently it is. <laughs> My mind starts to drift away. Yay, story time. And let's face it. Beat boys. We're here for the stories. We're not here for this, this storyline, are we? Um, okay. Right. Oh, you, okay, Laura, over to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was a good session. Yeah. Transformation flying while casting offensive magic. Pulling it off was no main feat. And now I'm exhausted. Hey! <laughs> Sometimes the things I try don't work, but this time I was able to use flying magic together with other spells. Still, I'll need to practice it a lot more to use it in real battle. I really, really wish I'd learned landing magic. <laughs> I think it'll be a while before I reveal it, though. It's good to have a secret trump card. Wiping my brow, I take in my surroundings, my training room in the basement, made specifically to absorb the impact of magic, is as cold and quiet as always. The stone walls and magical lights is also very solemn and mysterious. The hum of energy from the lights and the magical podium is all I can hear. Just like my room, it's cluttered with piles of magical implements lying everywhere. Implements? Mm. This is like my sanctuary, an otherworldly place where no one will disturb me. Sounds my good. My fortress, perhaps, of solitudinessness. <laughs> Sometimes I love being here, but at other times the loneliness is too depressing. Because of my status and reputation, other people don't talk to me very much. Lonely. I'm Near so my feet lonely. are too. <laughs> Near my feet are two components charged with ice magic. Ice, ice magic, baby. Thinking of how they might cool my sweaty body gives me an idea. Ice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if this if this if this storyline is going back to uh, you know, I pick them up and start rubbing them over my nipples or something like that, we're all going to have to put a warning on this air, you know. <laughs> <laughs> If I attach them to a high capacity wand or staff, then there has to be a way to use them to keep it from overheating. Then the staff could channel a lot more magical power than it does right now. I dig around through all the staves I have until I find one that suits my purposes. The arrangement of the component settings are considered less than ideal, so not many people have this kind of staff. Most people don't use ice magic either because it's less powerful. But with a little tinkering, I think I can get away with it. Oh no. I think I can get it to do what I want. Or in other words, I get away with it. <laughs> I spend some time carefully selecting the pieces and deciding on my arrangement. I then set the staff and dust off my skirt. Alright, time to test my latest ideas. My head hurts. My head hurts. Oh. <laughs> I go to bed and fall asleep, which is much better than yesterday where I did it the other way around. <laughs> Morning! Hey! Woo! Okay, Saturday, April the 1st. April Fool's Day! Mm. I wonder if that's going to appear in the story anywhere. Okay, first thing we need to do is... Um put books on the shelf because we've read this one we've read this one 
I think we'll get rid of that one as well. And let's add some books. Put books in the bag. It's all about the books, yeah. about the books, no <laughs> trouble. Okay, it would be nice to show if we'd actually read these ones, wouldn't it? I know, I know, that is a bit of a silly yes. thing. Yes, okay, that one. Um, that one. We guide the databases? Yep, and... Um... Did we get a Royal Guard's Life 2 or something? I can't remember if we did, but if we did it's probably in the post. So let's grab that one. <laughs> oh yeah, that might be. The backpack is full. Okay, so... Checkbook cell. Put books on the shelf. Oh, this doesn't tell us. Ah! Um, <laughs> checkbook cells. Uh, read a book. There we are, that fell us. Okay, weightlifting for idiots. Advanced programming. Provisional Princess Volume 3 and a complete guide to databases. Right, so... Okay, so everything else you've everything read. Everything else we've read. Oh, I love the system. Okay, so let's have <laughs> Advanced Programming, Provisional Princess, Volume 3, and a Complete Guide to Databases. Check bookshelf. Put books on a shelf. That one. Okay. Don't put back a book. Check bookshelf. Ah, I think that's all the time we've got. Thank you very much for coming along, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 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 I'm losing the will to live. I mean, I've, we've been doing this for about six months, and I've no idea what's going on. <laughs> it's not our business what's happening in this no, game. No, I, I think you might be right there, to be honest with you. Okay, <laughs> right. Um, right. How are we looking? Uh, yeah, what's the stress level? Okay, we are still fairly stressed out, That's and that would probably do us, good, do us good to do something about that. Um, we've got rest. plenty of money, so we don't really need to work at this point. Let's just rest. You're right, I think. So I just take a rest. There we go. That's, yeah, yeah. a little bit more pushed, but much less stressed. I feel better now after <laughs> resting for a bit. <laughs> Afternoon! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh. If we chastise her when she doesn't do it. I mean, we, come on! I mean, we, 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 yeah, we, we, we. I praise Laura when she does it. What am I supposed to do? Throw her a biscuit? <laughs> easy, good Laura. Easy, good Laura. You, you, good, good Laura. You're a good Laura. Yes, you are. You're a good Laura. <laughs> See, Laura, don't you like that? I love it. <laughs> I also like to be told I'm not a bad Laura. <laughs> <laughs> You've been a very oh, naughty so Laura. Bad. You must be punished. <laughs> no, we'll leave that one to Chris. I think. Give me yeah. the hairbrush. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, let's take a wander, shall we? Sure. Go outside. Any preferences? Um, we can read at the cosplay cafe or the bubble tea shop. Well, there's nothing much at the park when it's daytime. Mm. Okay, so um, yeah, do we want to see the maid or do we want bubble tea? Is the question. I just dropped my phone on my foot and it hurt. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the maid. Okay, let's go to the cosplay cafe. Laura likes doing the maid's I've noticed that one as well. It's like, I just like calling people master. Well, you only had a mask. Yeah, call me master. It's just quite telling about me, isn't it? <laughs> Welcome back, master. Yeah, that's right. You start calling me master. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be nine dollars to read, master. Actually, uh, given the fact that we've read most of the stuff, let's go and get some books. Mm, yeah, I need Royal Guard's Life. Yeah, okay. You like that one, don't you? Oh, uh, no, it's, 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 it's Royal Guard's Life. Volume, Volume two. 2. There we go. We'll get that one. And Shop. And I love the interface. Um, yeah, it's lovely. Little Destructor Volume 2. And Shop. And Provisional Princess. Actually, let's get all of that because we've nearly finished that one. we go okay oh it does it doesn't offer us ones we already yeah. have okay that's yeah cool. that's possibly the one good thing about this interface sorting it might have been nice <laughs> grumble, 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 <laughs> grumble, 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 grumble. okay so right we'll get those when we come home because apparently they're not allowed to hand them over for a case of cooties or something like that I don't know. <laughs> uh, all right so should we hang out a little mm -hmm. hang out yeah. i decide to hang out here for a while Hey, Ryu, can I ask you an odd question? Um, 
Does God have feet? <laughs> <laughs> we talk about anime and manga all the time. How can she have a question more odd than that? Ooh, loaded statement. I don't think that's odd for context. <laughs> <laughs> sure thing, ask away. Well, how do I put this? Don't you think Alex is kind Gay? of... Gay? Yes. <laughs> Different? What do you mean? We all have our quirks, don't we? Well, I'm just saying that Alex doesn't seem like your typical otaku. Yes, I've noticed he washes as well. <laughs> I was just going to say, his hair's always clean, so... <laughs> Not a typical, typical otaku? Where did she get that from? I don't get it. What's so different about him? Well, I've noticed that he has a strong distaste for girls who get jealous. Jealous girls are a really popular type in anime. Oh, she's jealous. Hmm. I think some guys like them because it shows them how much they care. But Alex says that girls like that are unappealing. Well, jealousy is an ugly thing in real life, being a sign of insecurity and distrust. Maybe he's just more grounded in reality instead of anime than some otaku people. But it's not just that. He always mm. takes good care of his looks and he <laughs> seems to attract a lot of attention from yeah, girls. Yeah, I told you he's gay. Wow. It's a, oh, it's a slam on uh, otaku <laughs> culture here. <laughs> Is it really so strange that he cares about personal hygiene? It's worth pointing out now that most convention centers have high roofs for a very good reason, high ceilings for a very good reason. Okay, so the smell wafts up. <laughs> That's true. It's like, it's like unwashed people combined with cosplayers. Oh, yes. Nice. Unwashed cosplayers. That is even worse, yes. <laughs> Especially after the second day. Well, yeah. no. But the way he... But the way he speaks with other customers is too logical. The way he analyzes fiction is based on reality, as if he's talking about actual girls. He doesn't even like the clumsy girl archetype, and she's the most popular. Well, it might be endearing in a story, but it's pretty aggravating when things get broken in real life. Sorry. She's standing there like, mine. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my, I just need to. But at least you understand that it's supposed to be cute. Alex doesn't see that at all. I see. Sounds like Alex is more down to earth than I thought. I wonder why he hides that side of himself from me. Maybe he really is one of those wings of light guys. Like, wait, so... He's clean, and he likes emotionally intelligent women. Yeah. And doesn't like to feel as though people don't trust yeah, him. Yeah, how dare he? <laughs> <laughs> it's something to think about, at least. I feel better now after resting for a bit. That's no one was pussed as I'm gonna be. <laughs> so pussed. Yay! Yay! Who's a good Laura? Who's a good Laura? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to mail you a gold star because I have your address, Laura. <laughs> I spent some time practicing my magic. Maybe I'll send you a piece of paper with a puffy sticker on it. <laughs> okay, so, right. Let's check our bookshelf. Uh, hold on, not that one. Uh, check bookshelf. Read a book. Just make sure we got the yeah, we got a load of new ones down here. Okay, that's good. I suppose we could read a book. Yeah, could. We're very close to, like you said, being yeah. done with Provisional Princess. Okay, so A Provisional Princess, Volume 3. And please remind me afterwards to take it out of the backpack. Take it out of the backpack. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I start reading A Provisional Princess, Volume 3. Celia is making a journey to a nearby town when her retinue is attacked by a rebel group. Her guards are quickly overwhelmed, but she manages to hold out until reinforcements arrive. Afterwards, she's stunned by what she's able to accomplish. The captain of the guard tells her that she is she inherited tremendous power from her mother. It makes Celia happy, but later that night she realizes something else too. During the battle, she never thought about what would happen to her if she lost. She was focused solely on protecting the unconscious mage knights. That must be what a teacher meant about her emotional strength. I go to bed and fall asleep. 
Morning. And don't learn a thing. That was a waste of time reading that, wasn't it? <laughs> Right, there we go. Okay, and check bookshelf. Put books in back. I so love this interface. <laughs> there we go. Right. Okay. Um, it's Sunday. I'm surprised we're not meeting someone. Oh, it's it's, it's yeah. morning, isn't it? Um. Right. I, Why don't we work? Yeah, I was just thinking that we have actually. Uh, um, spent a chunk of money, so let's go and do a bit of work for them. Well, getting there. Get that database ready. Yeah. After me. Oh. Seems that Claire and Rita don't want to talk to him anymore. I wonder why. Uh -oh. Perhaps the rumours of him becoming a Dataku have spread around. Let's read another book. <laughs> read a book. Have him read the, uh, maybe read the, um, the database okay. one. Why not? I can continue reading the book about databases. My stress goes up to 100. I need to read a little more mm -hmm. before I can use what I just read. Oh. <laughs> Even! Um. At least they're letting you know you're close to getting some progress yeah. there. Seeing as someone who specialised in databases, it's possibly because you fell asleep halfway through reading the book. Trust me, I did many a time. <laughs> I spent some time practising my magic. Call someone! Yay. Rina! I dial Rina's number. I carefully turn the volume down on the receiver so I can hear her. There you go. You hear, you hear the glitter bomb going off in the back? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm Rina. That's right. I was trying to remember the two names. I can't. I can't oh, clear, clear. That's right. Hello, are you? Don't tell me you want one of my special massages. How did you get this number? <laughs> Hi, Rina. Do you want to hang out sometime? I'd love to. Maybe the park. What, they sell bubble tea there. <laughs> Let's meet up tomorrow. Okay. Right. Um. Let's get a bit more money. Uh, work and Fearside Bank database. Oh, yeah. Oh, no! that's so close. Cool. Do it again. Uh, do it can't. Again. You can just do it the once. Hi. I... Just yeah. bad now. All right. You know, you just gotta you gotta get the right amount of emotional charge, and when you're out of the zone, you're out of the zone. It just doesn't work. Um. <laughs> uh, hey, April, why don't you do this one? Okay. The heavens truly have a wonderful, mysterious feeling to them. I think that to myself as I or I think that to myself as I sit in the middle of my private grounds again, gazing up at the boundless sky. Oh, I think this is you. Uh, this is the, this, as this the, is prince. the prince. Yes. And so, would you like to take over? I, I've done a lot of talking. You haven't. But I'll do it if you want. Okay. No, it's fine. At my side, I hold a special gift from my father, the sword he entrusted to me. I just feel like I do a bit pretty bad impression of you. Well, I do a pretty bad impression of me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so I hold the sword up to my face and try it. Thunder! Thunder! Thunder gets <laughs> home! It doesn't summon any hose. It's just wrong. <sighs> <laughs> I'm too young to wield it properly just yet. Even so, I still carry it everywhere. I have another sword I use for practice, but no one could possibly mistake it for this sword. It is far too regal and well made for that. The sword from my father is completely unlike any of the others in the castle armory. It has two blades, one of normal tempered steel and another of a strangely colored metal. He told me this sword has a unique power and that I should never lose it. It's just worth pointing out the sword with two blades is called a pickaxe. <laughs> <laughs> I keep it with you or keep it with you always, my father instructed me with a somber face, and so do I. And later on, I happened to hear going past my father's study, I heard him talking to one of his friends and laughing about how I got the fool to uh, keep hold of this pickaxe and try to use it as a sword. <sighs> <laughs> Not only because of his wishes, but especially because it is an irreplaceable cherished gift from him. I hope. <laughs> now that he's gone, it's my precious memento of him. My dream stirred <laughs> something inside of me. Which is a little worrying. 
Rena sure does enjoy coming here. I guess it's an, a nice enough park, but I can't see there's anything special about it. It's hard to tell if actually that's uh, Rena talking or not because you know it's just too high pitched to notice. <laughs> Bless you. Hey, Rena, how's it going? Oh dear. Rena! What the hell? I closed the last few meters in a split second and kneel beside her on the ground. Are you okay? Are you? Yeah, I'm just... All danced out. <laughs> a little tired. A little tired? Damn, I was hoping to get the third base this time. You're not in any shape. <laughs> <laughs> oh... Her face is pale and her skin clammy to the touch. She looks like she could pass out any second from exhaustion. Saw that man. Mm. <laughs> if you were this bad off, you should have stayed home today to rest. But I really wanted to see you. Even though I shouldn't. You shouldn't? Why shouldn't you? Well, let me mm. I should have stayed home. I'm sorry. It's fine. Just rest here for a little bit and then go home, okay? I want you to stay in bed for the rest of today. How's that different from any other day? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> she looks as though she might burst into tears any minute. I ha Better get out of here before she does. <laughs> <laughs> I misread that one wrong for a second there. I help her over a bench. I help her over to a bench. <laughs> And she obediently lies down to rest. An, in, um, an, indeterminate, an indeterminate amount of time passes in silence before she finally sits up. In the meantime, I've become an accountant. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can get home now. Are you sure? Maybe I should walk you. Thanks, but I'll be okay. Thanks for worrying about me. No need to thank me. I just want to know that you're okay. Take, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Take care of yourself, Rena. I mean it. Okay. Goodbye, Ryu. Well, we did a good job cheering her up, didn't we? <laughs> ah. She leaves, and I watch her frail figure disappear down a side street. But that weary, haunted look on her face... What was I thinking, letting her go home by herself, looking like that? I race after her and turn the corner, just to see it uh, to in time to see her get on the bat jet. <laughs> Rena, wait up! She's nowhere in sight. But where did she go? She couldn't have gone far in such a short span of time, much less in that kind of state. I check the ditches. I call out for her, hastily search the nearby area, but it's as if she'd vanished off the face of the earth. Frantically, I dial her cell number, but no matter how many times I try, she doesn't pick up. Rena, where are you? Oh. Mm, after searching until I'm exhausted and for some strange reason not going to her house and knocking loudly on the door, <laughs> I give up and return home. How did she disappear so quickly? Why isn't she answering her cell phone? Beep, beep. My cell phone suddenly turns into a roadrunner <laughs> and rudely interrupts my thoughts to inform me that I've received a new text message, apparently from Wild E. Coyote. <laughs> I pull it out quickly, <laughs> then look at the cell phone. Mm, photo. <laughs> One new message. Subject, I'm okay now, and I think it's over to Laura for the rest. Text messages do not look like that. They did in 2006. Really? Yeah. I don't uh, ever remember text messages being like that. Crappy phones. Oh. Uh, well. Anyway, I don't remember that. Sorry, I made you worry today. I went home and went to bed like you told me. Thanks for worrying about me. You're a good friend, Ryu. Oh, good. She's all right. That was totally a believable text message. <laughs> but for goodness sakes, Rena, don't scare me like that. 
Still, I don't care how much I worry as long as she's all right and I'm naive. Oh. <laughs> I spend some time practicing my magic, and that seems like a good time to end it there. Oh, oh yes. Um, What's going to happen? So, right, I think we're done here. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I've been here with the, the wonderful, multi-talented April. Yay. And the Laura, who's been such a good Laura, such a good Laura. Yo, yes, you such a good Laura. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Simon. Thank you. Easy, good Laura. <laughs> She's like, that's all I asked for. <laughs> so, thanks, thanks, thanks very much for coming along. Thanks very much for adding to the fun. And until the next time, thank you and good night.